My TGI Cold says, your HADR worksheet mentions a million dollars uh, option for zero RPO and RTO. Where can I go learn more about this? So for those of you who haven't seen it, I have this free first responder kit. You've probably seen the first responder kit, but inside of there, there's a worksheet to help you pick the right architecture based on your business's recovery point objective and recovery time objective goals. And if you ask the business how much data are you willing to lose, and how long are you willing to be down? You think that the business is going to say zero data loss and zero downtime, but the reality is, is they have to understand there's a price for that. You can do that. I have clients doing it all the time. It's just that it's really, really expensive. And so in the price grid, I put a million dollar and up option. The reason why you don't see like articles, here's how you achieve that objective, is because it's a lot like building a race car. Building a race car is so incredibly specialized when you get to the point of like Formula One or IndyCar. It's so incredibly specialized and the, the decisions that you make are really custom tailored to what your company's abilities are, what your company's application is like, what your company's infrastructure is like, that no two solutions are the same. A good starting point to think about is bi-directional replication, where you can write to any number of SQL servers and they're all communicating with each other so that if one SQL server goes down, you can continue writes on the others. Now, even just me saying that opens up all kinds of what happens if a change hits one SQL server but doesn't make it to the others. There are all kinds of things that you have to think about in this. It is not something where you'll just go read a one-page article telling you how to do it. This is very much where you hire a consultant to help you go, first off, even ask all the questions that needed to be asked in order to design a solution like this. I haven't looked at that RPO and RTO worksheet in a really long time, and I think I probably should change that price tag to ten or a hundred million dollars because I just don't see companies doing that who spend less than say ten million dollars a year on their SQL Server infrastructure just to support that one solution. So hopefully that helps.